Okay, so the next milk we're going to make is almond milk. And of course, remember why we're doing this. We're doing this to save uh, the beautiful cow and all the boy calves that get killed, I think, immediately after birth because they will never make milk and they don't have enough body fat to become hamburgers. And of course, we want to save the girl calves from a life without her mother's milk because we're drinking it and then a life in the veal crate and of course the mommy cow who had a terribly hard life giving milk the whole time. So it's 12.13. These almonds have been soaking for two days now. That was unintentional but that it's usually overnight but it's just because we have had such a winter weather that I have had a hard time getting back to the kitchen. And just to show you, and the snow's still on the ground and it's still quite cold. The other reason I'm showing you the temperatures here in the kitchen so you get an idea that it is these things are not dependent on perfectly good conditions. All these things do very well in non-perfect conditions. And that's uh, kind of different to hear because we usually, almond milk does not have to be heated up, uh, no milk does actually, but I'll just show you how this looks. It, it actually makes it very nice and frothy and it's totally unnecessary. You can just have raw almond milk if you like. When you see the videos online they all look very perfect and stuff. So this is my makeshift double boiler. It's just a plain pot with a little water heating up. That'll be getting hot. <coughs> and now I'll show you here. I'll rig up my um, there we go. So here's the tool, T U L L E. I just rinsed it from having made oat milk. And I just rinsed everything, just put that in there. You can, you'll get your own rhythm going and your own style. And we saw the time just now. So it's just an overnight soak plus this time. If, if I've been soaking these during a hot weather, I would throw the water out and start fresh, uh, but I don't see the need. Uh, it's been cold everywhere, cold in the house, cold where these have been soaking. I'm just taking these out. I can add the water later so it doesn't spray all over. So I'll turn off the camera while this is beating up and I'll turn it on later. And actually this is what I love about almond milk and soy milk, it gets so frothy. So I'm going to pour some of this off and uh, use the pulp and then keep going. My hands are clean. I want to make sure I get all the almonds in here. So there's eight cups of tap water here. If you want to go slow on this adding the tap water, you can until you find the right thickness for yourself. So we're going to do this a few times over and over. So I've done something I dislike immensely, which is I've overfilled it. You'll find on your own your own blender what the right amount is.
So I think this is the last time I'm going to do this. Depending on the amount of time you have and everything else, you can decide if you want to, uh, how much you want to do it. But I just want to show it's 12.30. So I think we've been at this for 20 minutes in between my stops and starts. I'm just going to finish it up the way you would finish it up. We've used almost all the water. And this is a nice pulp now that will remain. And uh, we can use the pulp, the almond pulp, for other projects. Like some almond fudge type of thing. This is now going to be raw almond milk in the bottom and I'm going to put some of it in here to heat it up in a double boiler just so you see. Some people don't want raw almond milk and I don't know why they wouldn't because we eat raw almonds all the time. But just in case I just want to show you how you can cook, make it not raw almond milk. And this I'll set on a plate so it can continue to drain. And uh, this pulp I will definitely use in another recipe. It can be refrigerated until you're ready to make, you know, make the other dish. Again, you can come up with your own contraption and if you find a good one, send it to me. So you can see you're really, by having the various folds, you know, you're uh, filtering it really well and it, it sh you see how quickly it went. It wasn't, uh, here's this. So here, here's raw almond milk. That's four cups there. We used eight cups, so we'll see how much we have left. Four. That's really five cups, six, seven. So you almost got eight cups back. This is what I'm going to put in the double boiler so you can see how that works. four cups and it looks like it might be five cups and then here's six cups and a little bit more so it looks like we've gotten about seven cups out of this and this is what I'm going to put in the double boiler which is to use this this thing that I just um, it had it soaking in just going to put the two cups in there And you can put your sugar and vanilla in here now if you like. And vanilla always after you've finished heating it. But if you were going to have it raw, uh, now you can stir it in. So here we go. I'm going to turn this around and make it a double boiler. So here's my two cups. I'm just going to set it in there and let it heat up a bit. So we have our raw almond milk. If you wanted 
to add your sugar, you can add it to the raw now and the, uh, and the vanilla now. If you're going to cook it a little bit, you can add the vanilla after it's finished cooking, but you could add the sugar now if you <coughs> wanted to. So there, there you go. So there's our almond milk. We got out at least six cups from one cup of almonds. You can have a quarter cup of sugar if you like, a teaspoon of vanilla if you like. You have to taste it and do it your way, and a pinch of salt. And you've also seen, so this is raw almond milk. I'll show you how long it took to make. This will be here. I'm just showing you how to heat it on a double boiler. There's nothing to watch later. Once it gets frothy on the top, I'll just take it off and that will be non-raw <laughs> or cooked almond milk. And let's see how long this took. Okay. Still 20 degrees. And it's about 12.39. So I can't remember exactly when we started, but I thought it was noon or 10 after, so it took about 40 minutes. And by doing that, we have saved so many cows, which is the whole idea. It's my favorite group in the world. My other favorite group, because we're trying to save some cows. Please send me your photos and other recipe suggestions. Okay, bye-bye. Up again, just to follow up to show you what the cooked almond milk looks like. No big deal. Ooh, hot. Uh, has not boiled. So to do that, I'm going to put a quarter cup of sugar and the uh, probiotics. See how it's uh, bubbling on top? Okay, so this is the almond uh, milk cooking. And you see some bubbles there. It's not boiling yet, but it's heating up. I'm not even going to see the temperature because I'm not organized enough like that. It's any of these recipes for me have to work just because, not because careful experiment. So what I'm going to do to make it a yogurt, I'm adding a quarter cup of sugar and I'll stir it in here. I'm actually going to turn the heat off. Then once it's cooled down a little bit, I'm going to put my probiotics in. And I promise I'll show you a picture of that up close. But here's my probiotic. I know this works on soy. And I'm not positive yet it works on almonds. But we'll find out. So when it cools down, I'll actually take it out of the double boiler. By the way, this will be delicious right now. I'll let it cool down a bit so it'll be just warm to the touch just a little bit, then I'll put in three of these capsules. They're 70 cents a piece. And uh, this is, remember, just two cups of milk. So uh, we'll see how that works out. And then they'll sit overnight, uh, or for many nights. So I'm going to take it and set it over here, and that'll be my almond. And I'll get that ready. I'm going to sit here, get cool. Again, the temperature in here has gone up a bit because of all the cooking, but eventually it'll go down, and we'll see how this almond works out. and it isn't even 1 p.m. yet. So we've made milk, raw milk, cooked milk, and potentially 
yogurt with, in less than an hour. I'm going to take a minute aside from my soy, yo soy milk uh, project to finish off the almond yogurt. Let's see the time. So 1.19. So here's my uh, almond milk. I put the sugar in there. It's barely warm, hardly warm at all. So I hope it'll work. And all I'm going to do is stir in four capsules of these probiotics. And we'll see how that works. Typically, you wouldn't be using these many on, on just two cups of almond milk, but let's try it to see how it works out. And I'd, li I'd like it if you sent me your uh, how things work for you. So there's some sugar in there, and we'll do this also with the soy yogurt in a, in a bit. This, as I said, it's really hardly warm at all. And again, what I want to emphasize is the chaotic nature of making this. It's not like it's often portrayed, you know, with thermoses and wraps and all this stuff. It actually works in really unusual situations, and that's all I'm trying to show. Because if I had to do it that way, I'm so disorganized it would never work. Okay, so this will be sitting out. If I have some small jars, I'll pour them in the jars later. And so that, so the almond yogurt is ready to set for about two days. And it's 122. And here in the kitchen, it's in the 60s, and we know from earlier when the double boiler wasn't on, it was really in the 50s. Okay, so the almond yogurt's going to sit and wait. Well, there's my girlfriend. I haven't seen her in a while. I do feed them out back, and I'll give her something shortly. I love her so much. She comes and uh, reminds me that she's there. And, okay, so now she'll climb up. And then I'll put out some peanuts out here. She'll come around. But forget about that for one minute. She's very important to me. But I want to first finish off this uh, really important yogurt lesson. See if that comes up. Probably. Okay, 2.27. So here's my soy yogurt. It's still warm, but I think that's fine. The almond mix is completely cool, and I'm going to put them... I have four little jars. Two are the same, and two are the same. So we'll store those, and then here I have all my soy jars. They're all different. So that's the way we'll remember them to see how they turn out. So I'm going to put in four of these. I've gone back and forth in, on the quantity, but I just want to make sure this works. So it'll be two ten, two dollars ten cents to make yogurt, soy yogurt, and uh, we'll see how it goes. I hope it's not too warm. I think this is what you would give to a baby, or maybe a little warmer than that. If you refine this recipe, please do, and please send me your your recipe and how you've managed it. Again, this would save hundreds and hundreds of cows. And if you teach your children how to do it and how to like these things, uh, of course it saves hundreds of dollars too. I mean, this was two ten for this, and of course a dollar for the soybeans. And we have uh, about six cups of soy milk. Okay, so there's my soy. I'm 
actually make put it over here in this cool corner. Again, to show you how it works in any almost any environment. This is my almond. Now this almond has no flavoring in it, so again, you, you have to work with these to make them delicious for your family. So here are my almonds. So. So the odd bo bottles are soy and the two equal to even even bottles are almond. These will take at least two days from my experience, maybe longer, but uh, then you'll see how it goes. Okay, so th and let's see if my squirrel is waiting for me now that I'm done. She usually stands up there. So I'll go and feed her. But in the meanwhile, I wanted you to see the yogurt containers. And I guess our lesson is over, uh, but for two days or so. Thank you. Bye-bye.